while since our last video so welcome to video number two uh, we'll be taking you around belgium belgium <laughs> what have we done we decided to rent a camper so we got a camper from indie campers how much was it abby right so for four nights it was 350 pounds What is, mm. what, what is it though? Oh. I don't know what it is. Crispy curry sausage. Crispy curry sausage. We come to share Vincent, which is apparently the best fritz in Belgium. They are absolutely amazing. Crispy. We got the Andalou sauce, which is spicy and absolutely delicious. And then we've got the Toulouse, which is slightly sweet. But a little bit pickly. We also got the crusty curry sausage, which is unbelievable. <laughs> and this is that was and she's wounded. That was mine. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> After filling ourselves up at Shea Vincent, we headed through Bruges, had a little stroll, and ended up at the Chocolate Story. The Chocolate Story is a museum that tells you all about the history of chocolate. These ceramic things are made out of chocolate. Except they're not ceramic, they're chocolate. And these are all chocolate. After this we headed for so There's two types of waffles that are popular in Belgium. There's the fluffy waffles what we have and the doughy waffles. So Taylor had his with hot cherries and I had mine the proper Belgian way with butter. The waffle house that we went to was highly recommended, it had a queue outside and it was called Lizzie's Waffles. The coffee wasn't great but the waffles were super tasty. Definitely try them out if you're in Bruges. We watched a video from some locals before we got there, they said you had to try these. They're called Cubadons and they're a Belgian must have treat. So we're going to go and try them now. Cha ching Chin chin. Is it chin chin? Ooh. What is going on? Oh, yum. It's really nice, but... Oh, that's a bit of me. Mmm. It's stuck in oh. my lip. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> oh, yum. Damn really chin. Nice. Oh my god, what are you doing? What do you mean? Why is yours so wet? <laughs> Just made that way. So to me, they were like jelly babies. What were they like for you? But like, mine was a lot more runny than a jelly baby. Yeah, yours was strange. Um, but if you want advice on sweets, listen to me. I love sweets. And the... T the rem the texture reminds me of jelly babies, but not normal jelly babies. More like the way I don't know. Maybe it's the inside's like normal jelly babies, but the outside is like the crusty bit on a Harry Potter jelly baby. You know, like oh, they're nicer. You know, I'm gonna get some more. We spied on the way back as well. You can get more than one flavor. Yeah, they do them in pretty much every sweet shop in Belgium or Bruges, where we are now. And we went into one and there was one where you could pick your own flavours and they had a selection bag. And for reference, how many grams is in this? For reference, this is a bag of... 200 grams. This has 200 grams in and this was five euros, weren't it? Yeah. But we saw some places selling them for like 10, didn't we? So just don't yeah. do it. In the more touristy areas, we like double the price. It was crazy. Bye. Came back for another, and I, I realised we forgot to tell you what flavour they are. They're raspberry. Very nice.
this is our park up in Ghent. Start again because I just said it looked like a condom and you might have got it in. She looks like a condom. No, no, you can't do that. Start again. So this is our park up in Ghent. We are just outside the city limits. There's a nature city? reserve. Yeah. Start again. Is it a city? Yeah. Start again. No, we don't need to. Why do we need to start again? Because. Right, so we're going to head into Ghent now. Be a central. Be a central. Yeah. And is that a building? It's a chain. Okay. Chain. So we've arrived in the centre of Ghent. Ghent, not Gent. <laughs> Start again. We finally arrived in the centre of Ghent. Um, we were looking for some beer taste and just so we don't have to buy like full bottles. And we found one, what's it called? Be a central. It's a chain, but it seems like it's the only one, so we're gonna head there and we'll show you what it's like. Get out this rain a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of places closed on a Monday it seems. Mm. <laughs> just like to point out this is the worst beer review I've ever seen and I apologise fully for this. So we just want to say that after nine months, three cars and a minibus later, we finally found our perfect van for our very own van conversion. And we thoroughly enjoyed this trip because we now know what we do and don't want in our van. So don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow our Instagram for regular updates. And we'll leave you with this.